All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. I'm the brother Ties of War, back at you again with another lesson. And uh, this one is going to be entitled, We Cannot Give You Faith, But Hope. We cannot give you faith, but hope. All right. And, um, you know, this is very important because you got a lot of uh, men, women waking up and they're tuning into the lessons. And some may ask, you know, you want to be baby. You know, well, you, you're asking things that, you know, I understand, you know, and you're asking these things. But you're going to have to get this thing for yourself. All right. Now, we give hope because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right, our Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shai, gives us the word to push it out there for those of the hopeful elect. All right. And when this word is going out, it's to give you hope, to know that, look, you know, there is a way out. You know, there is a way out. And that way out is through Yahweh Shai. Now, you got men, okay, that are that know of the prophets speaking the word for years and they got that thing going on so they take what they hear from the prophets and then they speak what they say and they come up some other way with it there's a difference between being carnal and spiritual okay you got the natural man which is the carnal man and then you got the spiritual man which is the man who follows Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai the carnal man has his own way Okay, he thinks everything is right in his own eyes and what he do, you know, they say they use the words, the slogans, eat your own, uh, y uh, YOLO, you only live once. When the spiritual man, which judges all things and follows under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, he sees life differently, all right, because he's not leading his life in his own path. He's following, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's ways to guide his life. And so you got the carnal that will mock the spiritual. They will get on brothers, get on, say certain things, stop looking for a second coming that never worked. And they're saying these things because they've been confused and they saw the deception within Christianity in which Esau put out there in these different religions. And they see how these pastors ripped them off and stolen from them, you know, being basically hypocrites. So now when the truth is out, even though they know that these men, okay, they seen teaching and prophesizing, especially before the season that we're in now, knowing that what they were saying, they laughed at them. They mocked us, okay? They said that would never happen. That man, he would never crack the clouds and come back because it's fake, it's not real. They said the mark of the beast was a conspiracy. It's not a microchip. But now that you can clearly see that what the men of the Lord was saying years ago is coming to light. So this means that these men are the men of the Lord, all right, that was sent, you know, sent to you to give the message, whether you hear forbear, okay? Whether you hear or you forbear. So there's a difference between the carnal and the spiritual. And why you have to get this thing on your own? Because you're gonna have to be your own man. So we can't give you faith, we can give you hope. And before I read this, let's go into Ephesians real quick. Because a feet because uh faith. Uh who is that? Okay, because faith is a gift, all right? We don't have that special gift to give, all right? We don't have that special gift of faith to give. We only received it because it was a gift through the Lord. And you can only receive it if it's a gift of the Lord, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So it's Ephesians chapter two, verse eight. 
Well, let's start at seven. It says that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So you see that? The riches. It says the riches of his grace. And right now we need grace. This is the time where we use the grace. Okay? Grace is needed in time of grace is used in a time of need. All right. May the Lord give us grace where we slipped up and went off. You know, you know, because we uh, how can I, excuse me, my thoughts are leaving from me, but it'll come back because you use grace in a time of need. And um, just because you commit sin doesn't mean you're wicked. All right. You know, you slipped and go off. That's the point about being in these sinful bodies. You know, it's our, our job to rehearse and to get it right, to uh, strive for perfection. You know, so we're not perfect yet, but we strive. Okay, we don't make excuses to continue to do wicked as the carnal do. All right, as the natural man do. You know, you fuck up, you pray, and you move on. Scriptures say, let not your sins weigh you down. So it says that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. You see? So faith is a gift of Yahweh. We don't have that gift to give, you know? Just uh, we can give you the hope in which the gift have to be given to you in order for you to, let me say this, in order for you to have the hope, you're gonna have to have to receive the gift from the Most High. <laughs> Check that out in order for you to have the hope Which is the true hope and the truth of things that's going to come to pass Which the Lord said you're going to have to have received the gift from the Most High first Because we can't give a nigga hope You can't give these carnal men hope because they only have hope and what they could do with their hands All right, they don't understand divine intervention They don't understand the spiritual Accepts of things if I'm saying that right All right They can't see it. it's not given to them So it says not of works least any man should boast So let's go back To uh, Romans 8 Alright now this is Romans 8 And 13 For if ye live after the flesh Ye shall die But if ye through the spirit Do mortify the deeds of the body Ye shall live Alright and another reason why You know because, you know, another reason why it's the spirit, you know, Lord had me in this subject, because you see what's going on in the world, all right? You see everything that's happening, and you got to look at things that's happening outside of Babylon as well, all right? Because Babylon the Great is America, and you see what this electoral, I mean, electoral, uh, election, presidential game is being ran, being run. I'll say from what I've seen, and uh, just my opinion, well, not opinion, I just put it out there if brothers ain't heard about it. But like they saying, when you watch that Simpsons, um, that Simpsons show, how it said January 20th, somebody had made mention and I kind of thought about it. Hey, who knows? We'll see. That, um, that uh, they won't be having a president. Uh, they won't be giving us the king of Babylon because... I believe if there's no elected, selected president for Babylon, for America, by the time January 20th come in, which is the inauguration, all right, there won't be one. Something, something around those lines. So I don't know, but that's what I heard saying, but we'll see, okay? Now they're looking and saying Joe Biden's winning, and then all of a sudden you might just see Trump being announced. He the winner, who knows? These are Edomites. So it says, Romans 8 and 13, For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. All right, if anybody tell you stop waiting upon this second coming and do something yourself, they're the Antichrist. They're against Yahweh Shai. All right, and they have the carnal. And it says, For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. So if you want to 
take up guns, you want to stockpile warehouses with food, and think you're going to be safe, by all means, go right ahead. You are your own man. Do what you do. All right? But I'll say this. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, I was shy. Okay? The Lord's elect is going to follow and keep following no matter how hard it gets. Even if it's unto death, they're going to follow Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? And do as was the scriptures say, to be as pilgrims, which the word pilgrim, you know, means to vagabond, travel. But it also means to look for a miracle. So if someone telling you, stop looking for a miracle, stop waiting upon this, this, this being to come through the skies and save you, they're the Antichrist. All right? And right now, you know, men are saying that because they've been deceived by these Christianity churches and they keep seeing black people keep falling into the pit. Well, it's only destined for two thirds to fall into the pit and die. Okay? That's the truth they don't understand. They don't understand the real truth. And if they do, they got pride to not, uh, not admit it. You know? And if they got platforms and podcasts and shit like that, they won't say it because they're afraid of Esau. They're afraid of all the track, the traction, the, the traffic, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, troubles that come behind, you know, telling the truth that who they truly are, which you're an Israelite, the name of the Lord is Yahweh, name of the Father is Yahweh, the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, all right? And uh, the prophecies that the Lord said is coming to pass, all right? But, you know, anyway, let me continue. It says, but if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body shall, the deeds of the body ye shall live. Now, when you go into this word, modify, modify it says to put to death all right it says to make to die destroy render extinct by death to be liberated from the bond of anything literally uh literally to be made dead in relations to something so modify means to put to death so you want to make to die destroy what do you want to do your flesh why that I mean go kill yourself you do that you're an idiot all right but it means to what kill the carnalness and be more spiritual follow the ways of the Lord rehearse the righteous acts keep the laws of the Lord to the best of your ability you know keeping the laws of the Lord is not dreadful it's a needed thing so that you don't be classified and judged as the rest of the two-thirds you know you can cut down on your sins you cut back on the sins. We still sin, but not willingly. Okay? So if you willingly sin in and you ignore and despise this truth, then you're going to be put to death. Straight up. All right? Because you despise the word. But if you did acknowledge it, repent it, and strive even unto death, then you have saved your life through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai saved you. All right? So, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of Yahweh, they are the sons of the Most High. And this is why we call ourselves, or we say, the hopeful elect. We don't know if we the elect, we say hopeful. Because we're led in the Spirit of Yahweh to do this work, to teach, to prophesy. And we hope that the elect, the hopeful elect, is getting it. So it says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of Yahweh, they are the sons of the Most High. So all the hopeful elect men are the sons of the Most High. And why it talks about men first, you know, women shouldn't get discouraged. It's because the men are the princes of the Most High. All right. It starts with the men. The house of the, the tabernacle of the Lord is with men, not women, with men first. The men takes the word of the Lord and they go home and feed their family with it. All right. The men are the heads. So for you women as well, you have to pay attention. All right. For the rules of the whole four leg and get that understanding first. You're not before the man. All right. It says, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear.
but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba Yahweh. All right, so you see, we're not supposed to be in the bondage, be in uh, the spirit of fear. All right, even though all troubles is coming and we see it, you know, you should see it. You're not supposed to be afraid of and be afraid. You know, you're supposed to be praising Yahweh Bashan Al Shai for these things to come so that our kingdom come in. You know, and that might sound crazy to a carnal man, but to a spiritual man, you know, he sees the uh, the method within the madness, as that saying goes. You know, the method within the madness. He see, he understands what has to happen first in order to see peace. All right, that's just being wise. So, it says, um, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. That we are the children of Yahweh. See, sons should be sons of Yahweh. It says, and if sons or children, which well, should be sons, it says, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, meaning we're joint unto Yahweh Shai. Okay? So it says, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So we're suffering with the Lord in his absence. We suffered when he was here. And now that he's gone with suffering, but when he come back with healing in his wings, we're going to be glorified too. All of you guys who talk down on the men of the Lord, start with the apostles and elders here at Great Millstone. All right. And you laugh and joke at us. Even you guys that call yourself Israelites, you know, that, that know that you're Israelites and you're teaching and you scoffing the men of the Lord. You're all going to be put to shame and you're going to have to eat those words. The scriptures say every man shall be held uh, accountable for every word that he speak. So, so even you guys that, that, you know, this devil right here, man, this demon, man. Hold on, slide here. All right. You know, so for even you guys in the different camps, you know, being that you teach a different doctrine, you should be as humble as well. You should fear, you know, fear uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, but most of them guys don't because they have a carnal mind. They have the carnal mind, you know. So anyway, uh. It says, uh, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be received, revealed in us. All right. So, you know, the, the glory that's coming is going to be beautiful, man. So why fear? You know, why be afraid of and afraid? You know, we supposed to praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so hopefully I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Makakadash. Double honest to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.